Well, here we are at Regent Street Cinema, part of the University of Westminster. And this is where in 1896, the Lumiere brothers showed their film. It was the first ever film shown in Britain. Some 25 years or so before that, the Society of Telegraph Engineers met for the first time, and that was the organisation from which the IET was born. What's really exciting here today at Westminster is to see how our very diverse student base bring creativity, bring innovation, bring engineering excellence into solutions that really will work for the world in the future. I've always felt very passionate about the role that engineering, technology and science can have in transforming lives and in protecting society through collaboration, through teamwork, through innovation and through creativity, just as we see in this brilliant Olympic Park velodrome in London. They've lost the rider, they won't care because they're going back to back as Olympic champions. This velodrome is full of great engineering and technology and IET members have played their part in its success. Going forward though, there's an even more exciting future, digital engineering and IET is set fair to play its part at the forefront of this revolution. Our wiring regs have made a major contribution to keeping people safe. We have much to be proud of. But I've also seen too many instances where things have gone wrong. And what we need to ensure in IET is we continue our quest to make sure that our accredited professionals are competent and can be trusted to do the right thing. So that we've got work to do together. We've got to make sure that our engineers and our technicians are properly valued in and invested by their employers. And also we've got to really think about how our institution becomes the home for digital engineering for the future. The place that inspires a whole array of young people to join our industry and to make a real impact in the world. <laughs>